how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Well guys, you were, you were a great audience tonight. Great support tonight, obviously. Zero complaints about this many people supporting Chrono Trigger. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, thank you all for a great chill evening, even though it was a little confusing. I'm already kind of planning some extra content for the channel for October, but this month it's gonna just be basically the react show once a week. So why am I telling you all this? Well, I would appreciate it if you've liked the react content over the course of this year, if you could support it. What that means is this stream I'm doing right now that's gonna lead into the react stream, please support this stream. This stream once a week is the only real income I'm getting towards that channel. So. If you watch the React content, if you support it with, you know, memberships, give them memberships, or maybe a super chat during it, or you send a tip during it, that will help. Any contributions I get right now, like tips, carry over to the React stream, okay? <clears throat> so please consider supporting the React content today since that's what we're doing, okay? So oh, he's an e-beggar. The hardcore begging season. But Final Fantasy is the big one that they always rely on. And the fact that this game came out like this, right? <clears throat> And essentially had big pre-order sales and then after the shilling ended from content creators no one's talking about it that means something now why am i bringing this up today because ladies and gentlemen as of today the game has not even been out for three months not even a quarter of the year has the game been out yet ladies and gentlemen today the game went on sale for a third off so right now if you've been holding out to buy final fantasy 16 and you want to buy it it's about 25 to 30 dollars i think it's like originally it was 79.99 now i think it's like 50 I want to say it's $55.99 or something like that. Check it out. On Amazon, it's on sale. Everywhere it's going on sale. That's horrible. Okay? What that means is that this game sold so poorly within its first few months, they're desperate. And they're hoping by doing a price slash this early, people will buy the game before all the new fall gaming season games come out. Do you want to know the truth? I don't think it's going to work. I don't. I think the word of mouth was so bad about this game that it wasn't Final Fantasy that... Anyone who is interested as a holdout is going to skip it and they're going to buy other games this fall instead. <clears throat> Did you know that they started blaming, like, the customer base? I'm serious. Oh, the reason that the game isn't doing so well is probably because of the online hate and the viral negativity, and it's really toxic these days. Why do you think that exists? Because your game is not good. If your game was good, then it wouldn't happen. By the way, my wife agrees with me. King B. Cruel says, what do we have to do to get you to upload your Final Fantasy XIII playthrough? Uh, give me a day where I don't have to stream. Seriously. Give me a day where... I don't have to stream because, you know, it's not a concern. And then I can sit here and I can upload all day. I can name, I can click the videos, name the videos, you know, title them all. I just don't have time to do it. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. I, I, every day, I'm here six days a week full-time streaming for you guys, and I have to do that to make ends meet. And then the one day I'm off, I'm busy doing personal stuff the whole day. I don't have days to sit and upload legacy content, you know? <clears throat> Laziness. Also, I find it hilarious, of course, trolls showed up. We were watching that footage of 9-11 saying, I'm trying to monetize 9-11. I don't pick the clips, you idiots. I mean, that's probably the dumbest thing you possibly could have said. As if I chose. I didn't choose anything on the show. I choose none of it. Ultra is selected by the Ultra members, and the other is RNG via YouTube. I don't select any of it. You can't play You can't pin that one on me, you morons. I don't select the content. It's random for a reason, right? <clears throat> okay. Oh my god, he's drinking chocolate. We are a mere $9 away from the tier 1 goal. Remember, guys, my goal for this week is to try to hit the tier 1 tips goal, okay, Every uh, at least once a day, every single day. We did it yesterday. Can we do it again today? $9 away from hitting that goal. All right, I would really appreciate it if you could uh, support the stream in some way, and that would be a great way to do it, would be a tip to help have us hit that tier 1 tips goal. So here's the deal. This is the next video, from what I'm to understand, okay? is basically people talking about me in various capacities. Some of these people actually know who I am. Some of these people don't. Some of these people only know me from very negative things. So some of them are very misinformed, all right? I'm not gonna watch this whole thing. It's 12 minutes. We'll watch some excerpts from it. It'll definitely be interesting to see what people have said about me over the years. And maybe I'll finally respond to some of it. So let's see, okay? 
I love Hulk Hogan's dick. I want it so bad and I can't get it. Lol. Is Dark Side Phil the guy that couldn't make a cup noodle? Is that right? Yeah, if you make a cup noodle. That. That, I didn't know anyone knew me as a guy who can't make a cup noodle when I made the cup noodle. People make fun of me because I guess I had a fork at one point during the cup noodle, but I made the cup noodle. People actually think I couldn't make instant noodles, really. Okay? Dark Side Phil is the man who uh, will forever be known as the guy who forgot to turn his stream off. Correct. And started. And no, it's not forgot to turn the stream off. That's also incorrect. That's not what happened. The stream was already on. It was pre stream. <laughs> Jacking it. <laughs> With some of the funniest facial expressions ever. Like, I was thinking, like, is that, is that what I look like when I'm jerking the gherkin? But he's, he was so angry. He's there. He, he forgot. He, he forgot to turn his stream off. Hi, Phil, if you're watching. They got well, to now turn I his am stream later. Off. And he's there. Doing, and, and he's like. But he looks, he looks like very aggressive. Okay, I gotta ask a question. Why does everyone who does it try to imitate it? <laughs> right? Everyone who does this and reacts to it, why do they try to imitate the face? He did it, LTG did it. Why do they all try to imitate the face? Why would you do that? That, for me, it's like, okay, it was a mistake. It was an accident, a legit accident that I'm embarrassed of, of course. I'll never live it down. We all know that we've been through this a million times. Why would you try to make the face yourself? I don't, that I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, is this Adam Bacchini? Oh, I know who this is. This guy used to do uh, all kinds of commentary and stuff on pro wrestling. I didn't even know that's who this is. I had no idea. Yeah, I knew that he had uh, he had commented on, I guess, one of my posts about WWE years ago. Yeah, like two years ago or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to say, you're still inspiring people like me and Wings of Redemption and Dark Side Phil, proving to us that even an idiot can still be successful. Somebody that I personally don't care for, which is DSP Gaming. This guy is probably one of the worst gamers I've ever seen in my life. He screams at stuff, he's really, really dumb sometimes, uh, just in his general ability. Like, one time he did a playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 2 and he got spot bid by basically every single guard. And that was the point. See, again, these people, they don't even understand, right? Like, they don't get it. He doesn't understand, like, that was the shtick back then. That was what I did back then. Now, if you watch the content, it's not like that. Back then, that's exactly what it was. It was me digging around, not caring. I didn't know how to play the game. I didn't give a fuck. I just bumbled my way through it, and that was part of the attraction. That's why people liked the videos. I... <laughs> I don't get... You know, he's a bad gamer. He just got spotted by everyone. Did you not see the playthrough? Yeah, everyone was laughing at it. That was the point. <laughs> how do people have an issue with that? Really? I, I don't get it. Anyway. Every time he got seen by a guard, he just screams stupid game and throw down the controller. That's a person who doesn't want to learn. That's a Correct. person who doesn't care about improving. That is a person who, by appearances, doesn't even want skill because he doesn't know what he'd do with it. Justin, do you have you, you any more honorable, uh, dishonorable mentions? Um, hmm. I guess I would agree with you with DSP. Yeah, my like, boy. Because what DSP does, uh... Like, in person, he's all nice to me and shit, but... Isn't this very old, this clip, by the way? I think this is like a super old clip. Okay. And then, and then when he makes a YouTube video, he, he thinks he's all hard and crap. Uh-huh. So that's what gets me pissed off. Like, do you guys remember the whole thing with DSP and, like, like with the West Coast people? Where they almost, like, he, he was, like, really scared because he was about to get beat up. He Evo was about weekend? to get roughed up. Yeah, I remember that in San Diego. This is hilarious because this... I don't even know what they're talking about because this, there's multiple occurrences that happened. And I've already completely talked about my history with the fighting game community. What's interesting, he says, he's nice to me in real life, but when he makes a YouTube video, he's all hard. I'm all... I'm all... What? This doesn't make sense because here's what I don't understand about comments like this. What are you talking about? What video was I all hard? If, in the entire time that I think that I was making content about Street Fighter 10 years ago, because that's what this is a reference to. This is an old clip I remember. It was a long time ago, right? <clears throat> I remember once Justin lost at Evo to Gamer... I think it was Gamer B, who was the Adon player in Street Fighter 4. And people had asked me, what did you think about it? And I was honest. I was like, people like Justin like focusing on top tiers. They don't play every character, so he had no clue what to expect when he fought that Adon. <clears throat> he, you know, taking the easy way out, only learning top tiers, you're not gonna know matchups. You're gonna get thrown for a loop, and that's exactly what happened when you watch that match. He had no clue how to fight Adon at all in Street Fighter 4. He got body, you know? How is that being hard? Like, that was being honest about what I saw. I mean, if, if he had, like, a specific thing that he was pissed off about that I had said, that's one thing, but it seems like, this is what the FGC all said 10 years ago. We don't like DSP because of, he makes those YouTube videos and he's all popular for doing them, but you know, in real life, he wasn't, you know, he, he the West Coast like punked him and this and that, so what are you talking about? No, here's the truth. 10 years ago, well, it was more than 10 years ago now, it was like the years of 2009 through like 2011, 2012, the FGC, including Justin Wong and everyone else, hated me because I was more popular than them. I was making videos that was not of any kind of a skill level at all, I sucked. And, but my videos were very popular on YouTube while they were struggling to make videos and content that people would watch. People didn't like the pro content. They liked entertaining content with personality and those guys were struggling to do that. So that's why they all hated me at this point, okay? I don't know what he's talking about. When on earth was I so hard 
on Justin Wong in a video back in the day. I, I have no idea what he's talking about. I really don't. Okay. <clears throat> I think Java approached him at Evo or something, right? Oh, was. Uh, Evo West was at the San Diego yeah. event. This is yeah, what I already yeah. told I think, this whole I think, story. Like, Java and like Boston were like looking for him if he ever came down to one of the Evo events or something. Yeah. So like he was like, I heard he was like crying and everything. So that was pretty, <laughs> pretty funny. They call me a lol cow. Dark side filled the lol cow. Lol cow, lol cow. <laughs> the, f the funny part is, there was three, four people there. Me, Jay Snyder, all right, Mike Watson, and Jaha. Four people. And what happened? I've told you the true story of what happened. That I was an alcoholic at the time, and basically, Mike Watson and Jaha were really angry that I guess I had said shit to them online during the mid-2000s, I guess, when I was drunk in like an IRC chat, and I had no idea what they were talking about. I literally had no clue. Because I'm like, guys, I, you know, I'm an alcoholic. I probably was drinking and talking shit, and I have no clue what you're even speaking of, you know? And I did. I told you guys. I broke down. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm a mess. You know, I'm an alcoholic mess. I was overweight. I was depressed. I was fucked up at that time in my life. I've openly talked about this already, okay? But the funny part is when people like this, oh, well, I heard this and this. Did you actually know what happened? Were you there? No? Then shut the fuck up. Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's, oh, even now, get my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. You weren't even there. You have no idea what happened in this situation. But again, this is the FGC was so angry at me blowing up on YouTube that this is what they would do. They would all talk about this shit behind the scenes. Ah, see, DSP, he's a, he's a pussy. He cried at Evo and this and that. Were you there? Do you know what happened? They confronted me for talking shit to them and I admitted to them I was an alcoholic and my life was all messed up and I was a depressed loser. And I cried because of that. So what are you talking about? But you're an idiot. You talk from a place where you don't know anything because you don't like me because I was making YouTube videos that were popular, right? That's how fucked up the FGC was. Why do you think to this day I don't want to be a part of the FGC? Because of shit like this. They, like Justin Wong was so hard, right? Oh yeah, he was always the hardest guy in the room. What are you talking about, Justin? It, like, you're, you're, it's, it's insanity. It's stupidity. But this is what I mean. They play video games. They think they're hard and shit. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Whatever. Anyway, let's continue. <clears throat> the guy's a feminine side. Onions keeps your heart healthy, helps you control diabetes, improves immunity, lowers stress, helps protect cancer, keeps your skin healthy, and look at that. Uh, boost your sperm count. Doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man, you need to consume onions. <laughs> you may not like it, but this is what peak performance look like. Onion man versus soy boy. Okay, that was- <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. Yo, that was legit funny as shit. Onion man versus soy boy. <laughs> that was good. That was actually a really good reference. I like that. And game box, like, five dollars. Oh, the camera Oh, is this, is this the final- the, the, uh, Adam Cole reference, pro wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Damn box. <laughs> oh, the camera's on. Camera's on the whole time. Ah, the whole time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, they know it. It's the meme. I love it. I love it so much. All right. So everyone, everyone knows the meme. We're not gonna watch more. That's eight minutes is enough. But yeah, that's the meme. When you hear Dark Side Phil, the first thing you think of, oh, that's the guy who had an accident. That's the guy who's this negative thing or that negative thing. Hey, they are, everyone knows the meme. That's what I mean. Sadly, people who don't know me or any of the content I've ever made will know that meme, right? And that's it. So you know what? This clip is fine. I just find it fun. Of all the things in this clip, the stupidest one was the Justin Wong quote. Because he, he didn't know the situation. He was using that as like a way to stab at me 10 years ago. To say, oh, I see DSP's a joke because he cried at, at Evo West when confronted by Jaha. Yes, I cried because I was an alcoholic and I was a depressed loser and I admitted it to people that I had no idea what they were talking about. People actually legitimately hated me for actions that I did when I was completely drunk. And, you know, when that happens, you realize, wow, I gotta turn my life around. This is pretty fucked up, right? Um, that's what I was crying about. But you wouldn't know that because you talked out of your ass. That's that's the fucked up clip there, right? But the rest of it was funny. There's nothing wrong there. <clears throat> but again, I wish people would stop bringing me up in circles that don't know who I am. Like, how in the holy hell would you know who DSP is? No one would know who DSP is in a circle outside of like YouTube gaming, right? No one would know. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's <laughs> WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory 
but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>